Hello everyone, ATR here, and welcome back to the Hearthstone beta. So, we made some gold after doing some quests, and let's do some arenas. Let's go ahead and jump right in, pay our fee, and see what we get. So we got Druid, Hunter, and Mage. Hmm. I think we've done a run for all of these. Uh, I haven't done Mage in a long while, actually. So I'm gonna go with Mage. Yeah, yeah, let's go with the mage, the good old mage. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, so we get Questing Adventure, Kirin Tor Mage, and Ancient Watcher. Now this is okay, it's kinda nice. It's a 4-3 for three, three, which is decent. And it says, Battle Cry, the next secret you play this turn costs zero. Thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna get secrets, so it's kinda hard to, you know, <laughs> use this. This, I've taken a lot of times when it comes up, but I can very rarely actually silence it to make it attack so pretty um pretty bad so questing adventure it's a solid card i mean yeah it's good all around for pretty much any class so there we go okay voodoo doctor down around mage and frostbolt spell power works up very well with mages but we're gonna start actually getting our spells first so frostbolt it is water elemental storm with night and ogre magi uh hmm ogre magi or water elemental water elemental is nice it's a 3-6, so it's kind of hard to remove, and it freezes any character that it damages. And this also works uh, against the hero. So if you're going up against something like a, um, a warrior, say, uh, you hit him with this, and he's frozen. So any weapon that he might have, he doesn't you know, have a chance to use that turn. So that's pretty nice. I'm tempted to take that. Ogre Magi is nice, although... I'm going to take that Water Elemental. Yeah, why not? Let's take that just to have some minions. Okay, another Frostbolt, another Ogre Magi, or a Mana Worm. Mana Worm is really nice. I don't have one of those just yet. I do have one Frostbolt, so we're going to take that Mana Worm in case we don't get any additional ones. Earthen Ring Farseer, Wisp, or Amani Berserker. Amani Berserker is pretty great with a Mage because you can enrage it yourself and get that plus three attack reliably with your hero power. So let's take that. And let's see here, we get Epics. Ice Block, Spellbender, and Hungry Crab. Well, Hungry Crab we can almost for certain disregard. It's okay, I mean, you can get it to work in arenas, but, you know, kind of unreliable. Ice Block is pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna take that one. I mean, it essentially negates uh, any lethal damage that you might take, so it keeps you alive for another turn. And Spellbender, when an enemy casts a spell on a minion, summon a 1-3 as a new target. It's kind of weird, it's kind of like Spellbreaker, but it just puts a target for that, uh, which can work kind of kind of funny against things like uh, priests <laughs> if they use a, a buff like the the doubling of health or the plus two health uh, spell. It uh it actually you know takes it so kind of weird, but I'll take the more you know good old one. It's gonna go ice block. So with this one, if I can actually get the um, what is it called? Uh, well, well, hopefully it'll come up. It's the guy that if you have a secret by the end of your turn, he gets plus two, plus two. So that's a really nice secret to have because it only triggers until you die. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, card draw, we said. I put myself a rule that I was going to get card draw anytime it came up. So we're taking that card draw. As good as the Stormwind, Knight, Stormwind Champion is or the Harvest Golem is just very nice for a three cost, we're going to take that card draw because we don't know if we're going to get card draw. More card draw or a silence. That may be the only situation where I'm going to take the silence instead. Silence is very important in arena, so we're taking silence. Dalaran Mage, Dread Corsair, or Fairy Dragon. Hmm, Fairy Dragon is very nice. Dread Corsair we're not going to take at all because it doesn't work for mages. or Well, it's horrible for mages. A 3-3 three, three taunt for 4. I mean, that sucks, but if you're a warrior and you get a weapon, you know it costs one less for each attack on your weapon, so it becomes better like that. It's essentially free with a uh, Arcanite Reaper, so it's pretty nice. Hmm. I like the Fairy Dragon for the beatdowns. We do kind of have a little bit of a beatdowny setup right now with the Mighty Berserker and the uh, Questing Adventurer. So Fairy Dragon might might not be a bad choice. Dalaran Mage is okay, but we have what one spell so far because we've skipped the other ones. So yeah, I'm gonna take that Fairy Dragon. More beaty beaty down. Ooh. Angry Chicken, even though we can enrage it, we can't keep it alive, so that doesn't work for us. Stampeding Koto is nice. I've been using it a lot recently in Constructed, and I like it. I mean, it's pretty uh, pretty solid. 
It's a uh, three five for five, which is not good, but it destroys a random enemy minion with two or less attack, which I mean, it's not as useful because a lot of the things that are less than two aren't really that big of a threat. Like for example, you could kill a novice engineer, but there are other things that do have some value, say like the Amani Berserker, if you catch it out on the field before it gets enraged, you can kill it right off the bat. So it's kind of nice, but Vaporize is just solid. It destroys any anything that uh, attacks you, so used in the, uh, you know, in a uh, ideal situation, you can kill a very big dude with it, so yeah, we're gonna take that Vaporize. Arcan Explosion, Argent Squire, and Wolf Rider. Uh, these are all solid. Wolf Rider more for removal, but meh. Argent Squire is a very nice one drop. It's a 1-1 one, one with Divine Shield, but the Arcan Explosion is just, uh, you know, 4 wipe or 4 damage, so we're gonna take that because we are lacking in spells so far. So let's start adding up those spells. There we go. Argent Squire again, Mirror Entity, which is also very nice, but we get a Flame Strike, and Flame Strike is just so nice to remove everything from the board. So let's take that Flame Strike. Another Mirror Entity, a Loot Hoarder, or a Dark Scale Healer. Damn it, I would want the Mirror Entity again, since it's giving us another one, but I said to myself, the card draw is going to be a priority, because we have been screwed by it before. So we're going to take that Loot Hoarder. It draws you a card when it dies, and it hits for two. Can't get removed very easily by a lot of classes, but it still hits for two, so that's fine. Let's take that Loot Hoarder. War Golem, Racer Fen Hunter, and Dragon Link Mechanic. Hmm. War Golem is a nice big guy. Uh, but these guys do bring two on the field. This brings a 1-1, one, one, and this brings a 2-1. Obviously, it costs one more. I think I'll take the mechanic just to be able to have more stuff on the field. Or should I go with the big guy, the, the war golem? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to take that big guy just to have a war golem, just to have a, make sure I have a big, massive guy for the end game. Yeah, let's take that war golem. Another Man of War, Voodoo Doctor, or Warfighter. Second Man of War, all these things works great. Novice Engineer. I do like the Worgen Infiltrator, but like I said, card draw. Arcane Missiles, Elven Archer, or Thalmor Farseer. Arcane Missiles. B. Ooh, card draw, Mirror Image, or Loot Hoarder. Well, this is going to be the card draw. Simple. Arcane Explosion, Murlocs, or Nightblade. Bleh. Arcane Explosion, second one. Very nice. There we go, Ethereal Arcanist. That's the one I was talking about. It says, if you control a secret at the end of your turn, gain plus two, plus two. So if I can pop this thing out, Ice Block, that thing's going to stay on the field until I take lethal damage. So if I just pop the Ethereal Arcanist after that, it, uh, it you know, it wins. I am going to break the rule about the card draw because the Cold Light Oracle gives him cards as well. Knife Juggler is just solid, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to take that Arcanist because we can combine it with that. And we also have another secret just to be able to, you know, potentially get more combos with it. So yeah, Arcanist it is. There we go. So now we get an Ogre Magi once again, Mogushan Warden, or a useful Brewmaster. I do like the Brewmaster bringing stuff back onto the field, but what can I bring back on the field? I mean, we have the Mana Worms, which are never going to be returned, uh, because usually you want to bring stuff back that has a battle cry, or say like a taunt. A Mogushan Warden that has taken some damage and is now down to, I don't know, one or two health. You bring it back and then put it back on the field and you know basically heal it up. That can work, but usually you want it for um, battle cries. So for example, the Novice Engineer, I suppose that one works okay-ish because you draw a card, you bring it back and you draw another card. You're still spending cards to do that, but you know, you get the gist. Um, Spellbreaker, actually, that's a good one to use. I can use the Silence, bring it back, Silence again. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll take that Brewmaster just for that, so that I can potentially have two two silences right now, because I don't know if I'm going to have another silence. Let's take that. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Ice Lance, pretty nice. If you can combine it with a Frostbolt, which I already have, uh, it deals four damage for one mana, which is amazing value there. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... Without any spell power, this combo is three mana and it deals seven damage, so that's pretty solid. Silver Hand Knight, pretty uh, good card, but yeah, Ice Lance. Good. Young Dragon Hog, Raging Worgen, or Dire Wolf Alpha, the Raging Worgen it's gonna be. It's another one of those that I can trigger myself and give it plus one and Wind Fury, so it hits for eight essentially. So let's take that. Another Arcane Missiles, Sorcerer's Apprentice, or a Harvest Golem. Uh, more Arcane Missiles. Yeah. Let's go with that. I would have gone with the spell 
Sorcerer's Apprentice, but my mana curve is already very, very high on the two. So I want to kind of even it out there. Stormwind Champion, Archmage, and Bluegill Warrior. In this situation, I guess the Archmage is always nice. It is a very nice spell power or spell damage card because uh, it's it's got very high health, so it's kind of hard to remove. You can't combo it, like, say, dropping it and using spells, except for, like, one cost spells or two maybe at most later on. But, um, but you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the field simply for its spell damage. It's a, it's a decent amount of a threat. So we got Taunt, uh, Elven Archer, or Mirror Entity. Let's go ahead and take more secrets. Yeah. Frostbolt. Shoo. Hmm. Well, we do have a decent amount of card draw. So I'm not that worried about it just yet. And the Loot Hoarder simply dies to get me that card. I think I want to, in this case, skip it and get a second Frostbolt so I have more spells there. Yeah. More card draw. Yes. Another card draw, and that's actually going to have to be it because these guys don't help me at all. I can enrage this guy and give my weapon plus two attack, but I'm a mage. I don't have any weapons, so it doesn't help me. And then we have the Bluegill Warrior, which is a 2-1 charge Murloc, which is, okay, it's a Murloc. So yeah, let's get that. Oh, ho, ho, nice. Millhouse Mana Storm is a very nice two cost. It's a 4-4 four, four for two, but it makes it so that uh, all enemy spells on the next turn cost zero. So that can kind of kill you very quickly. And then we have two very solid ones. We have the Black Knight, which is destroy a taunt. And it's a uh, 4, 5, or 6, which isn't amazing, but it destroys any type of taunt. So say you get a uh, <coughs> the big guy, what is it called? The, the Iron Bark Protector for the Druid. You can kill it instantly with this and have a minion on the field. So it's solid. But then you have Illidan Storm Rage, which I think is a little bit more well-rounded and useful. It's a 7, 5, or 6, which is already decently strong. And it says whenever you play a card, summon a 2-1 Flame of Asanoth. And I already have a lot of cards here that I can spam. So yeah, I'm going to have to take Illidan this time. And there we go. So that rounds out the deck. So we only have one Silence, which I'm not very keen on. Uh, we do have a lot of spells. Uh, we only got one Flame Strike, which is not that great. We got no Blizzards. We got no, um, what do you call it, the uh, uh, Frost Novas to slow them down. And we got no Taunts. So we're going to have to be working on removing whatever is on the field. And just dumping our little guys. We do have a nice little combo there for damage as far as Arcane, I mean Frostbolt and Ice Lance, but I'm not too sure about this deck. But well, we did get Illidan at the end, so that might give us a decent late game. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. No point in delaying. Let's just get straight into the game. <clears throat> So yeah, I think I'm going to keep it at the 30-minute uh, range, so it took about, what, 13 minutes to set up the draft, so yeah, we should be able to get one or two games in here. So here we go, first game uh, with that, Jane, and sorry if I sound a little bit congested, I am, I'm still a little bit sick. Doomhammer. We're going up against an NPC. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to toss back that War Golem. I'm going to keep a hand of the Ethereal Arcanist, just so that I can uh, pop it out whenever I manage to get a secret, because I only have one of these guys. And I'm going to toss back the Useful Brewmaster, because essentially I, I only want it to be able to use it with my Silence. So we're going to keep the card draw in this guy. Send this back, and let's see what we get. We get a Loot Hoarder and Arcane Missiles. Okay, that's nice. It's a decent... Hello. Greetings. So we're probably going to spend that coin into the Loot Hoarder. Yeah. So, coin Loot Hoarder because that one actually outputs more damage. And if he doesn't get uh, rid of it right now, it gives us a, uh, you know, a decent uh, control on the board. If he puts out one of those classic 3-2s that cost 2, um, he essentially, uh, he loses it immediately. So that thing's going to die. And we are going to draw another card here with our novice engineer. There we go. We get an arcane explosion. So we got a decent amount of spells here. If we could get a mana worm, that could be great. But we don't have a mana worm at this point, which is annoying. Next turn, we're probably just going to arcane intellect to draw some more cards and start getting a good hand on our hand. Because <laughs> we have two, uh, two guys here that can deal three damage. So I'm pretty sure I can deal with anything he puts out on the field at this point. Uh, he's gonna totem, uh, and that's gonna do it. So 
Oh, actually no, he goes for the fork lightning. Okay, so he wants to regain field advantage. That's actually good for me in this situation because he uh, overloads for two, which means that next turn he only has two essentially available for him. So that's okay. Uh, since it is only a one damage uh, creature on the field and he's probably only going to be able to put a totem out, we are going to simply draw some cards and try to get that secret Job out done. there. The, uh, what do you call it? The, the ice block. Yeah, I want to get the ice block out there so I can put out my ethereal arc arcanist. I mean, obviously, I still have to worry about hex with the shamans, but, you know, I think it's okay. So, yeah, a mirror entity doesn't make much sense at this point because he only has two mana available for use. He w I would have copied a dire wolf alpha, which would have died instantly to that, so I'm actually fine with doing that. We get a vaporize. Uh, we are not going to utilize the vaporize. We can use arcane missiles, but I'm not too sure I want to do that. Um, hmm. I could. I mean, if it hits. I don't. I actually, I actually don't want to use it. No, no. I'm gonna hold it this time. Uh, actually, I can wipe his board. I can arcane explosion and just hit the dire wolf. Yeah, I don't want to give him that much uh, field advantage. So there we go. Arcane explosion. Boom. And that. There we go. That's a decent play. I like that. I like that. I like that. So we still have uh, eight cards. We're gonna get a ninth here. Uh, so I'm probably going to drop a secret next turn, uh, although Mirror Entity right now would have been great, but, eh, I mean, I had to, I had to wipe the board, I couldn't leave him with too much damage there. Well, uh, actually no, uh, mirror, image, mirror Image would not have been great. So, he goes for me, that means we're going to have to kill that, and there's the Ice Block, excellent. Okay, so now it's what it turns, so... Out comes the ice block, and we kill that thing. And the ethereal arcanist is going to come out next turn with what else? We got four, five, six. We can drop another secret, a mirror energy, just to add on top of that. We can also drop a vaporize. Probably a mirror energy, because we're going to want to bring something big on the field. We could go directly into Archmage and skip the ethereal arcanist. Just to have that spell power and big uh, health creature on the Do field. Need a blessing? Okay. That thing dies. Feel the power of the wind. That thing gets wind furied and he goes for a rock biter run. Okay. Well, thing is that that thing is going to lose its three damage on the next turn, so I'm uh, kind of okay with that. Uh, so this is going to become a 5-5, five, 3-4-5. Five, five. He could actually kill it. No, he can't actually kill it. He can deal 3 damage to it. Although... Hmm, four, five, six. I could put this guy out and just make it a threat. Hmm. Hmm. Mm is correct. Uh... I do want to kill that though, so so yeah. The risk here is that this thing uh, that he has another rock biter weapon and he's gonna beef up the uh, the wrath of air totem. But I gotta get rid of that thing that gives plus health. So we're gonna drop the ethereal arcanist and kill that. It becomes a five five, meaning that he has to invest a little bit more to kill it. But it's probably gonna die, which is bad for me. If he has a hex, he's just gonna hex it. And I, I doubt that he's going to let it get out of control. Next turn, we can Flame Strike and get rid of everything if he decides to go for me instead. He does have seven mana. So, what is he going to spend it on? No Witch Inventor comes out, draws him a card. Okay, that's still good. That's uh, well within Flame Strike range. None of those have actually been anything that I would have wanted to copy with Mirror Entity, so yeah, I mean, I'm actually kind of okay with all that. So he's got three left. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? He's going to summon a totem. If you summon a totem, that's actually better for me, because that way I make sure that my guy stays alive. 
If he has a rock biter weapon, he's probably gonna sacrifice his uh, wind speaker to it. Hit me once with the totem and then hit it again. No, he doesn't have a rock biter weapon. Okay, we're actually in great shape. So uh, yeah, flame strike comes down. Blue kills everything. Hit him for five, and that thing gets plus two, plus two. So it's now a seven four. It takes some damage, but it's still still hanging in there. Okay, so now he's in a bad shape because he cannot uh, bring anything. Well, he does have some chargers, so I shouldn't say he cannot. He can kill it, and he has tanks available. Okay, uh, Sunwalker comes out. We're going to silence the, uh, the Sunwalker, probably. Let's see, what do we want to do, actually? We have Mirror Entity. Mirror Entity would have been great there, but fortunately for me, I don't have that option. Uh, spell damage, elemental, vaporize, when a minion attacks your hero, no, he's probably going to attack this. Uh, vaporize. What to do? What to do? War Golem. War Golem is also a big threat, but no. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with Spellbreaker, which is four, and then we have... What else? We have Arcane Explosion, Arcane Missiles. What to do? What to uh, do? We can probably drop a mirror entity. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet because he can't actually kill this guy directly because it's going to get uh, plus two at the end of the turn. So, yeah, we're going to do it that way. Uh, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we don't have a two I cost, wonder. so that's not going to happen. Okay, so we are going to silence that. And we're going to get another secret out, and we're going to. Hit that, and that's gonna be it. So that gets another plus two, plus two, so it's now a nine six, meaning he can't kill it directly. He does have the spell power totem, unfortunately, on the field, which is not good for me because he can kill with another fork lightning, kill both guys, but he would trade almost everything. He would keep the, the totem alive, but yeah, fork lightning or lightning storm would uh, be horrible for me. So he wind speakers that. And I get the wind speaker guy. That's unfortunate. Yeah, well, at least I get something more on the field. Which I'm okay with. Thing is that he can't kill Well, no, he can kill the yeah, he can kill the uh the spellbreaker and deal a little bit of damage to my guy, but that's about it. He can deal double damage to me, go for eight, but what does that accomplish? Six, seven, eight, nine. I can get spell power and wind fury on that. Yeah, you're not gonna utilize that, so I don't know why you're dropping wind fury on it. Uh, so he's gonna go for me. Me. little time. Okay, so he goes for that and goes for that. Okay. So. Totem comes out, and we get ourselves the Brewmaster. Unfortunately, we already lost our silence. A little bit too late on that, but it's fine. Okay, so here we're going to hope that we can actually kill this guy with the missiles. We're going to Archmage, Ready for this. Arcane Explosion, White Bullet 2, and Arcane Missiles. Hoping that we hit that thing at least once. There we go. Hit him once. Down it goes. And we hit him for 9. And boom, he's getting bigger. 11-8, so he's dead next turn unless he can kill it. And it's an 11-8. It's 8 health, so that's kind of hard to remove. Obviously, Hex works, but I think we got him next turn anyways, if, even if he uh, Hexes. So, Rock Biter weapon, and what, he's just going to smack himself against the... Yeah, he's probably just running out his entire hands just to show what he has. Did? Yeah. Okay. Well, well played. Well played. Awesome. So yeah, that, that went pretty well. We were fortunate that he, he didn't have any way of removing that guy, but yeah, I mean, that ethereal arcane is this amazing if you can combine it with that uh that ice block, because the ice block is not going to trigger until you are essentially dead. So awesome. So one win right off the bat. Let's go ahead and play a second game. We're only at about 25 minutes, so. Let's fill up a little bit more time. We don't have to stop exactly at 30 minutes, but you know, that's around the time I want to keep them on. So yeah. 
So yeah, I like that game. I, that, that was pretty pretty good at the first game. And I mean, that just goes to show the importance of card draw. It, it allowed me to dig through my deck and find the uh, secret that I was looking for. So. Now we're going up against the priest. The priest is going to be very tough. He has a lot of ways of killing my minions. So yeah, it's going to be bad. Uh, okay, well, this is an okay deck to start with. I am going to drop the Amani Berserker at turn two, and it's probably going to get removed. Hello. Spellbreaker comes out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to drop the Amani Berserker at, in turn two, and he's probably going to get removed by Chatterwork Pain. Morgan Infiltrator comes out. That's a very nice opening for him because I can't target it with my ability. Uh. But uh, the Worgen Infiltrator doesn't kill the Amani Berserker, so <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it out as a threat and probably draw one of his removals. If he decides to attack me instead of hitting the, uh, the Berserker, I think I'm simply going to kill the uh, Infiltrator and leave the Berserker alive for another turn, which is probably what he's hoping or banking on. Hmm, so I don't know. <laughs> what should I do? Well, let's see. It all depends on what he does in this turn. So he goes for the three damage. Okay, so he's going to get rid of the Berserker. Well, that's nice, actually, because he ended up having a trade. So we are okay with that. So let's go ahead and start drawing some cards here. Up like comes the card draw. Ooh, a Raging Worgen. Raging Worgen is going to also be very nice. Next turn, we're going to draw more cards and uh, potentially deal some damage with our balls. <laughs> Fire blast, whatever. And yeah, I didn't draw any pyro blast. I didn't draw any fireballs. So I mean, yeah, this is kind of bad for a mage deck, but at least it gets me. Uh, what do you call it? The uh, mana worm. Mana worm doesn't really help me here because I don't have any way of triggering its plus one. So yeah, we're just simply going to kill that put this out on the field uh, that is a horrible choice for me because that means that this thing is gonna just draw him some cards and I would not want to draw him cards but I don't see any way around it yeah well that's gonna be unfortunate let's go ahead and hit that and put out a card for us and he's gonna get more cards so yeah we're uh, in a little bit of bad shape there but I suppose could be worse but it is pretty bad I have no way of getting rid of it I have no spells in my hand I could silence it but I feel like this silence is the only one I have in my hand and in my, in my entire deck that is so I need to you know keep it alive a little bit better so not only is he going to trigger that he is going to hit me for five and get himself uh, a card plus at the same time getting rid of my that's actually pretty bad for us, but... Oh well. So, let's see here. We could Ice Lance just to stop him. The Worgen would die. But I think it has to die. I, I don't think there's any other thing we can do. We can put out Mana Worms and just... Frostbolt... This guy? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Probably just hit him. Vaporize this. I wonder. Mm, yeah, there's really not a good play here. I'm thinking of just running out all three of this. Because if I hit this for one, if I hit this for one, uh, he he gets a card and he heals up afterwards, which is horrible for me. And if I hit this for one, he heals it. If I hit him for one, potentially he heals, but he might not mm. care about that. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking he's just running out the Mana Worms and the Raging Worgen. Give him more targets to shoot at. Yeah, fucking, yeah. It's not a good play, I don't like it, but at least he has some threats that he has to deal with and he's gonna have to decide what he wants to uh, attack. Uh, next turn I can get those Mana Worms up to at least three damage so they should be able to start clearing stuff but yeah he's gonna go for the worgen for sure i mean he's gonna sacrifice the uh the acolyte of pain on the worgen no he's in fact gonna just 
prolong it and keep more card draw. Okay. So he deals one damage to that, deals two damage to that, and he's going to Holy Nova. Yeah. Well, at least it enrages my guy and... Oh no, he's going to silence him. What a dick butt. Well, I'm going to well give him the well played. Play. That was a very nice uh, move by him. So he heals up his guy. I am going to hit him for one, bring it back, and let's see, four, five, six. Let's just silence this asshole. Four. We're gonna just silence the asshole and I wonder. like stop him from getting more cards and bring back that spellbreaker. Cause you know what? He pissed me off. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and silence your ass. Bring that back to Spellbreaker, so now you know you I have a silence on the hand. Dick butt. And we're gonna go ahead and kill your guy over here. So now you have a useless 1-3 on the field. Congrats. I did have to wait until the Brewmaster to make it worth it, because yeah, I didn't want to just waste my only uh, silence on that thing, but yeah. I mean, I had to do that just to be able to get rid of that annoying piece of poop. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so another guy comes out that can get easily spell broken. Uh, yeah, but I think he's kind of purposely drawing that. Okay. Uh, other option here is to simply hit it for nine to try to reduce it. Like get rid of this. Challenge accepted. Get rid of that. Uh, use questing adventure. That that doesn't make sense to do. Um, no, it doesn't make sense to do that right now. So we're gonna. Do that and hit it to reduce it to nine. That way he thinks, or he'll probably believe that I don't have much to do there, but by reducing the damage output that it has. So I'm hoping he can fall for it. So some fury protector comes out. Scarlet Crusader comes up as well. Kind of weird that he didn't put it out before. Shatter Word paints that, which is already down to one health, which is good for me. And then that means he should attack me with that. Yeah, and Vaporize. There we go. So that's nice for me. Boom, you're dead. Okay, so that puts us in a decent spot. Uh, yeah, what else do you want to do? <laughs> so Ice Block comes out. We're probably just going to run Ice Block, although let's see... Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this just becomes a three, three and dies instantly to the Scarlet Crusader, so that's not good. We can put out the Archmage and pop the shield on that, and he can only output five damage. Yeah, that's actually the better choice here. Ice block, no real oh, reason to put it out right now until I get the uh, Arcanist, which is probably going to get Mind Controller died. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Let's go ahead and pop that Crusader oh, shield, God. and if he wants to ram both of those guys into that. Archmage, that is fine. He can't get rid of the Archmage very easily. He can't use any of his Shadow Words, and none they don't actually uh, kill them, so he trades very favorably, which is why I like the Archmage. I mean, it's a very awkward amount of health, up to 7 health, so it's kind of hard. Copy two cards from my deck. What do you get from my deck? I mean, I do have a lot of standard weenies, so maybe he got weenies. Did you get some weenies? Yeah, but this is a tough match. I am by no means ahead. I'm actually behind in health and everything. So he's gonna go for the uh, for the guy. Probably what gonna use holy fire? I think is the thing he has. Yeah, I think it's called holy fire, the one that deals five damage to something and heals you back for five. I mean, that would be the way to remove this. Otherwise, he just sacrifices more guys. So no, he goes for me. Get some two damage in there. And we can use the frost bolt. Let's see how much how much can we do here. Mm. 
three, six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't really do much for us, though. We can start pumping it up to, let's see, three, six, seven, eight. That makes it a four, four, so he can't get rid of it this turn. Let's just hit that. Yeah, let's do that. So, out comes the questing adventure. Out comes the ice block. We use the frost bolt to get rid of that. And we hit him. So that puts us with two four fours on the field, and he can't get rid of the questing adventure unless he has a silence that he wants to spend. Uh, or a holy fire, of course, but at four damage, it is right there at the range where his shadow words don't do anything, so. Uh, that's a good spot to stop him at. We are down to two cards. He knows one of them is a silence, so he's probably holding back something that he doesn't want to get silenced. And we have an ice lance, which only works to freeze shit because we don't have... Um, uh, well, we have a second frost, but we don't have one right now to deal with it. So we can get rid of that completely if we want to sacrifice both our guys. Which we kind of don't, so I'm probably going to Ice Lance that just to freeze it. Get my questing adventure to be a little bit huge. I'm hoping that I get some type of card draw in this card here. Uh, but I don't know. So mm. he got one of my spells. No, Holy Smite. Okay, deals two damage to my guy. That's fine. We got our own Golem. Um, which I guess we're going to have to... Spend. Let's see, we can 7, 8, 9, 10. We can golem and freeze his golem. Probably the best bet. Yeah. I would have liked to hold on to the Ice Lance to deal 5 damage with it, or 4 I if this guy died. But I think the situation demands that we stop this guy and we can remove it with our own War Golem next turn. If he doesn't mind control it, of course, because he's going to be at 10. So, yeah, whatever. So. Okay, so we deal a de decent amount of damage to him. He's now down to 15. His golem is frozen, so he can't do a lot with it just yet. But if he has mind control, he's just going to take my golem. Or actually, no, he's probably going to take the questing adventure, which is a more uh, a higher value target there. If he doesn't take the goal, uh, my questing adventure, uh, we sacrifice golem with golem, unless we have something else over here, which I doubt that we will, but, uh, but yeah. Okay, so he does take the mind control of the golem, so that's actually good in a way, uh, because we can probably get the, uh, the questing adventure up to that point. There we go, that's actually excellent. So, four... Well, that's actually not excellent, but it's something. So this deals four damage. We can sacrifice. So we can clear the board here, but that actually puts us in a rather horrible mm -hmm. spot ourselves. But I don't see any other way around it. So out comes the frost bolt on that. We are going to have to kill it because otherwise he's going to uh, heal it up. And... Now, you know what? We're actually going to put the pressure on, on him right now. Quest accepted. Time runs out on me. He actually dies next turn if he only kills my questing adventure or decides to mind control it. Well, actually, if he decides to mind control it, I'm screwed. That is a risk I'm taking, but... Okay, so the Wind Fury Harpy comes out. He goes for the questing adventure. He's dead. We got him. He can only heal himself for two, and... We got five damage potential in our hand. What do you got? He would have to kill the guy. If he doesn't kill my my uh, thing, he would. He loses. He goes for the two heal. Does he have anything in his hand? He coins into a three cost Emperor Cobra. Oh, well played. Well played. You're dead. There we go. Yes. So the mage.
mage. It's working out pretty well. Pretty well so far. A beat down ish kind of mage with some spells in there just tossed in. Very nice. I liked it. It went pretty well. Okay, well, we're going to stop it here. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.